Today we're going to start working on these radiating hearts. Aren't they cool looking? So let's start out with the first step. Take a moment and glue down a few hearts onto your paper. You can place them anywhere that you want to. You'll notice that I'm not using a ton of glue, just a dot dot is a lot lot. Once I've placed them down, um, just start out with maybe three, four, or five hearts. You don't want 12. Okay, you could even do one heart if you wanted to. You'll have a lot of crayon work to do, but I don't want you to glue down lots of hearts. I probably wouldn't do any more than six or seven. That's going to be plenty. Seven might even be too many. But anyway, once you've got them glued down, I'm going to take some crayons and I'm going to start radiating my colors, kind of like the colors that you see in the color wheel. You know, colors that are right next to each other. Let's take a moment and look at the color wheel. When I had a green heart, I went to blue or yellow with my crayon. When I had a red heart, I went to purple or I could go to orange. So when I'm starting out with my hearts and I'm starting to go around, it almost looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? Well, I was thinking about the color wheel. You don't have to use all of the colors in the color wheel. Like I said, you might even do one of those color choices of all of your color choices being warm colors or all of your color choices being cold colors. Pick a color scheme that you would like to do for your hearts and start radiating them along. It doesn't have to use every single color from the color wheel. I like the way this looks, but I can't wait to see some of your color choices too. Thinking about a color scheme, warm, cool, or you could use all of the colors, your choice. I like to also do this next step of making those hearts pop. So I'm gonna grab a Sharpie marker and I'm going to go over um, the outside part of my hearts. You'll notice that my Sharpie's kind of skinny, but it's filling in the white space between my heart and my crayon. So I'm gonna go over it a second time because I want that black line to really stand out and I wanna make it look like my heart pops from the paper. It, it kind of makes it stand out a lot better. Boy, look at the difference between that one and the other two. Okay, I did that one at normal pace, so let's speed it up a little bit. Grabbing my marker, continue doing that same thing to the other two hearts, or again, however many hearts that you have. This really makes it stand out. You might now want to put people's names on it, or I love you, or any kinds of words that you want to put down onto your um, heart-shaped radiating hearts. Thanks for watching, and happy art making!